Okay guys, so the next step to getting out of debt we just talked about and step one about not spending more than what you make and just a general rule of thumb and that just includes going into debt at all. Uh, we don't go into debt and we don't spend more than we make. Uh, the next step is uh, going to be number step two obviously and that is going to be creating a budget. and. The point of a budget is to really get honest with yourself about how much you spend versus how much you make. Uh, so this is uh, kind of a hard step for a lot of people and it was hard for us because we started totaling up everything at the end of the month and what we spent versus what we made and it was eye-opening and it was actually kind of difficult to do and it was kind of to the point where we were like, wow, do we really want to even do this or do we just want to turn a blind eye and keep living our life the way we are? And we decided, no, that we do want to make some changes. And and the best way to do it was to create a budget. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What I have here is, you know, in our first uh, step here of becoming debt-free, I kept it kind of general. And I just spoke about not spending more money than what you have. And it's just kind of a general step to get you started. Something, you know, to get the brain waves going of um, the thought process that you have to be in to get out of debt. Step two is actually taking the first initial initiative to getting out of debt. And I think that the best way to do that is to track the money you're spending. So what I've got here is a mock-up of the budget I use. I changed the numbers, but the budget uh, format is exactly the same as what I used and what, um, what my wife and I basically used to get out of debt. So... Um, Going to just do this real quick here. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with spreadsheets, but I keep it kind of simple here. And I just have it separated out by house related, vehicle, personal, and recreation. And what I've done is in the first column here, I made a budget. So this is the number that we don't want to go over every month. And I found this super helpful to getting out of debt because. You're looking at these numbers and at first we're going through groceries we're like holy cow three hundred dollars a month is that really what we spend you know and looking through the numbers that is what we spend so now we're becoming more conscious of the dollars going out the door and we're starting to use coupons more and looking through ads a little bit more uh just doing whatever we can and we wouldn't have gotten to that point had we not been looking at a budget so that's what i've got in the first column then i've got each of my months up here at the top all the way through December and then I've got at the end of every month or at the beginning of the following month February 1st here I went through and I figured out all of our January expenses so I found here that we went over budget we're supposed to be at 2256 and we went 2388 so it's just a good way to kind of alert you if you're spending too much money in a category and feel free to go back and change the budget as you go. I would just caution you to be comfortable with the numbers in the budget. So, um, you know, there's certain things that you have to have. You have to have um, your gas, electric, water, um, you know, there's certain needs and then there's wants. So the needs you really can't do too much with, but the wants are what you got to really keep an eye on. And I took it a step further and I actually did some conditional formatting is what it's called on this side here. So I basically got it set up where it automatically highlights a category in red if I'm going over. So now this is, a, um, you know, just an example budget. And this is showing that we're going over and gas, electric, water, internet, um, baby care, baby purchases, or personal care, baby purchases, pet care, baby med, and eye med. So that, these would be the categories that we'd have to kind of look into. Can we either get those numbers down? Can we spend less on those? Or do we need to adjust the budget um, to make that work? So this is one of the tabs I have. And down here, you'll see I've got a budget tab. And I've got an income tab. So this is a good place now. Um, you fill in your income. So not only are we working on keeping our expenses down, but we're trying to maximize our income. So this is another thing that kind of lays everything out on paper. Am I comfortable with these numbers? If, if I'm not, 
what do I need to do to get this up? Do I need to work more at my current job? Do I need to take out a second job? Do I need to quit the job I'm at and get a better job? Just kind of puts everything on paper, which I, I really like. And then you can create more tabs for mortgage, um, an overall analysis, like a snapshot of your, your overall financial position, and if you've got any investments. So um, that's basically what my budget looks like. I've got it real simple, and then at the bottom, I just have the income minus the expense, and here's the amount saved each month. So just, uh, just really make sure you put time into this. This is probably the most important step in getting out of debt, and um, I'd highly recommend you take this seriously. I know it's hard to do to get motivated, um, but make yourself a budget. Okay, so I just showed you how to create a budget, and thanks for sticking with me. It's uh, kind of a dry topic, and it's you know not something a lot of people want to go through, but um, but if you're got an inner nerd like I do, it uh, it's actually kind of fun each month to go back see how much we saved, and it feels good, you know, especially if you're in a relationship with someone and you're sharing finances, it feels good to be on the same page and to work towards a common goal. Um, it's just uh, kind of a good feeling. So stay tuned for step three and subscribe for more videos and reviews. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.